hey guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so today's video and tutorial is all about this ball gown dress so let's get started so i folded uh, this satin into two as you can see what i'm doing i'll just mark out a starting point i'll be minusing 2.5 inches since i'm making an off shoulder dress so i'll go ahead i will take the half length measurement that is what i'm doing i want to draft out pattern for the front first before dra drafting for the back i also added half an inch there for joining it to the down part so i'll be taking the shoulder measurement of 4.5 inches so i'll come down here by two inches and i'll connect the neckline i'll connect the neckline so what i'll do next now is that i will get the armhole measurement divided by two remember to minus your 2.5 inches for the off shoulder and i will also be taking that same uh, the chest measurement divided by four i mean to say plus one inch sewing allowance so i'll take this measurement down to the waist i'll just take it down to the waist like that and i'll connect the armhole i'll connect the armhole i'll just mark out the armhole curve like that so i'll go ahead i will add about 0. or 0. 0.2.5 inches so i'll be how, how will i even say it 0.2.5 inches not up to half inch quarter inch allowance and i'll cut it out so with this measurement i'll use it to cut out for the back but i'll minus two inches remember this is the front part i'll mark out two two inches like that from the center front and i'll mark the line like that fold another fabric into two i'm making use of a dull face satin so I'll go ahead, I'll place it like that, and I'll trim out the back. So, the back, uh, the neck depth of the back is one inch, but you can make yours to be deeper if you want or if you wish. But I just mark, make my one inch, and I will cut it out and I'll open the back as well. So, I'll set these two aside. This is the front, and this is the back. So to get uh, the flay, the inner flay of the satin, I just mark out 7 inches. This fabric is folded into two. So I'll go ahead, I'll connect it like that. And I'll get the waist measurement divided by 4. So I'll place the, measurement, the measuring tape and make sure that I have that waist measurement divided by 4 plus. Divided by, by 2, I mean to see. And I'll have at least 1 inch allowance. For joining this uh, the zipper so i'll be taking the length of the gown and i'll minus the half length from this i'll minus the half length and i'll go ahead i'll take the length of the gown and i will mark it all the way through just like if you are cutting out a semicircle or a circle dress a circle flay i mean to say so I'll, I'll mark it out and i'll also go ahead i'll cut it out remember the fabric was folded into two and the waist measurement was the waist measurement divided by by two so this is what i have so far so i'll go ahead i'll set this one aside so i'll get this particular place i'll measure the arm the the shoulder i have there was five inches then that five inches you multiply it by four i'll have about 20. But the round sleeve measurement was 28. So I'm left with 8 inches. I'll be cutting out 4 inch, four inches for the left sleeve and 4 inches for the right sleeve. Making it 8 inches and the total of 28 inches of the shoulder round. But I'll be adding about half inch, half inch each side. So instead of marking out 4, 4 inches, I'll go ahead and mark out 5 inches in width. And I'll also be marking out that same five inches in height as well since when i want to fold it into two when i fold into two i'll be left with two and a half inches i'll use the half inch to join and i'll be left with two inches so this is it as you can see so i'll set this one aside as well i will get this material i don't even know what this material is called but it's very very light even ordinary net is better than this material i i added i added the gum stay to this because it was very very light 
I don't know the name. Actually, the material was uh, uh, my mom's material. The remaining material from my mom's material. So, I'll be minusing the half length. And at all time, the measurement I, I need here is only 20 inches. So, plus half an inch. This is it. And this is the half length. I have about 1.5 inches here. So, I will weave and I'll also use the remaining together. So, that is it. That is the essence of that 1.5 inch. Then down here, I'll also weave at, at that place. So this the length here is about 2.5 yards of fabric. It's about 2.5 yards of fabric. So this is an organza net. Please, if you want to make this and you want yours to have a better outcome, don't make use of an organza. Make use of net to to or to lenet, whatever you call it. The organza is ah. I don't even like the outcome of this organza, but anyway, let's be doing it. So the length of the organza is 6 inches plus 1 inch allowance, so I'll be marking out 7 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark out 7 inches. And the folded organza, the, what I have here is about 5 yards of organza folded like this. So I'll go ahead, I'll be marking out the 7, 7 inches all the way up and I'll cut them out. So... I'll cut them out. So after cutting out, I have about six here and I have about two here. So these two here I'll be making I'll be using them for the sleeve and the other one I'll be using it for the down part. So I've also cut out the lining as you can see. The lining is one yard one inches shorter than the satin. So this I've also cut out the lining and I've also cut out the I don't even know the net. So this one i've also cut it out for the back as well so this is the the organza the cut out organza and this one is the other net the for gathering the down part so the, this is for gathering the down part so what i'll be doing now is that i will open up this satin and i'll open up the net as well so I'll go ahead, I'll top stitch to this. Since I want to join them together, I'll top stitch to this like that. And I'll also do the same thing for the back pattern as well. So after doing it, I'll get this organza. I'll join two. I'll be joining two, two organzas. I have six here. So I'll be joining two, two. Well, I'll have about three layers after joining them. But I'll just, just join two, two. If I join this side... I'll go ahead and join the other side. I'll get another two. I'll join this side and I'll go ahead and join the other side. I'll get another two. I'll join this side and I'll go ahead and join the other side. So that is what I did. So this is what I have. This is the, the sleeve. I folded it into four and then I overlocked or weaved the two edges as you can see. So to have a clear edge, I folded here in and overstitched or overlocked. So I'll be folding it like this and so for making the casing for the elastic. So, but I'll just set this one aside first. So this I've weaved here and I've also weaved here to have a clear edge. So the, this is the organza. After joining the three, after joining two, two, I have three layers. So just like I told you, well, because we have six. So I've also run some gathering stitch. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it very clearly, but I ran a gathering stitch, so I'll use it to gather the organza. So this is the for the loop at the back. This is for the loop at the back. And this here, the net I've joined here. I've joined this particular side, as you can see. I didn't join all the way through because I'll be attaching the invisible zipper there. So what I'll do next is that I'll get the gathered organza. I'll get the gathered organza and I'll place this net like this and I'll place the organza on top, not under, on top like this and I'll go ahead and top stitch it all the way around. So this is the front pattern of the top. I've also, I've already joined the uh, top stitch it to the door face and the back as well. So this is the sleeve, I've torn it out as you can see. I've turned it out. So what I have here is about two inches in length. So I'll go ahead. I will join it to the ample. 
and I'll join it to the armhole of the front only. So after joining it, I'll get the lining and I'll turn the neckline and the armhole only. So I'll do it. So this is it. I've joined the sleeve here and I've joined the sleeve here as well. So I'll go ahead, I'll bring the lining and I'll join from the armhole, the neckline and the other armhole. I'll stop at the armhole. So this is it after sewing it. As you can see, this is it. So I'll get the back pattern. I'll get the back pattern. So I'll go ahead, I'll just do it just like that front one. I'll stitch the sleeve like that. So I'll go ahead, I'll pin this down. I'll pin this down. So I'll get the other part and I'll pin the other sleeve down as well. Remember right side facing right side. I'll sew and sew. Then I'll get the lining. Just like we did for the front part. I'll get the lining and I'll place them on. I'll place the lining on top like this. And I'll turn the neckline and the armhole only. I'll be doing the same thing for the other back pattern. So this is it. This is the back pattern. And I've also attach the loops i've also attached the loops i want mine to be very bold that's why i did it like this if you watched my previous ball gown video that loop there was a little tiny so i wanted this one to be bold so i'll go ahead i'll turn the this with the lining so this is what i have you can see how neat this is so what i'll do next now is that i'll get the armholes together I'll get the armholes together, the lining and the main fabric. I'll get the armholes together and I'll sew it down by 0.5 inches. I'll be leaving 0.5 inches for allowance. That is for ease. Though, so this is what I have. So I'll get this inner flay. I'll get the inner flay. I'll get that net and I'll gather, I'll gather on top of the flay. I'll gather it all the way round on the waist area. So here I will join it here. I'll join the door face together, but not all. So this is it. I've attached the lining, the flay to the lining. So what I'll be doing is that I'll get the the midpoint of this center front. I'll get the midpoint. I'll mark it out. Or you can pin or you can notch, what whichever way that works better for you. I'll just mark mine out and I'll get the midpoint for the skirt part or the down part. So I'll get the midpoint like that. I'll get the midpoint and I'll also mark it out or hold it just like I'm doing. So I'll pin, I'll match the midpoints together and I'll pin it, I'll pin them together. I'll pin them together the midpoint and after pinning it together I'll go ahead and pin the rest of the waistline so I'll go ahead and pin the rest of the waistline so at this particular side here you will notice that the upper part is finished but the down part is still remaining yes is this this is how it's supposed to look like because of the loops at the back so I'll go ahead and I will sew it all the way around so this is the sleeve i'll fold it in like that and i'll fold in here as well and i will sew i'll be doing it for the other sleeve as well so this is the inner part of the dress as you can see how neat it looks like and uh, i'll turn it out so that you can see the outer part of the dress as well so this is the outer part of the dress. I've also attached my invisible zipper, as you can see. And I've also turned it out using the lining. So, I'll set this aside. I've, I've stitched the sleeves. So, what I'll be doing is that I'll get a 0 0.5 inches elastic and about 88 inches in length. 
So I'll run the elastic at the upper edge of the sleeve and also at the down edge of the sleeve. So I'll run the elastic here, I'll run the elastic here and I'll also be doing the same thing for the other sleeve as well. So this is the sleeve. After running the elastic, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead, I'll tack it down here. But you can as well use yours to turn the front sleeve, the, uh, the upper sleeve and tack down and tack the down part. But mine, I just tacked the two places. I'll be doing the same thing for the other side. So this is the final look, guys, of the dress. I can't wait to see your beautiful mix. So please subscribe and also like, comment, share this video. I'll see you on my next video. Happy sewing!